Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use our mobile phone to gain access to gain access to StreamYard. First, you want to go to StreamYard.com. You're going to use your browser, and you're either going to go in as um, if you're using an iPhone, you'll be using your Safari browser, and if you're using an Android phone, use your Chrome browser. So you're going to go to your I'm using an iPhone, so I'm going to go to Safari, and then I'm going to type in StreamYard.com, and then I'm going to give my email address. It's going to send me a six-digit code, so I'm going to have to check my email to get to gather that code, and then I'm going to put that code into my StreamYard so that they will know it's me. So they'll give you a six-digit code, and then you just grab that code and send it over to i um, place it in your StreamYard login. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to hit um, create a new broadcast. You're not going to go live, so you're going to hit the skip record only option for now while you're testing. Put the title in of your broadcast. Now, if you were going live, then you would definitely select whether it's Facebook or YouTube or both. But since we're not, you're just going to title it Phone Test and then hit the Create Broadcast button. It's going to, going to take you into your studio. Just check your mic. It's going to ask you to allow it. Click Yes. Then your face is going to come up. You can test your camera and your audio at this point. Okay. There you would put in your banners. Under banners, you would type in what you wanted to say in your banner area. Um, and you would use, so you would set it up just as if you were on a desktop. Okay, if you want to change your banners, you just know you click it on. If you want to invite a guest to your show, hit invite guest, copy the link, and then email your guest. Email your guest the link. And then they will, once they click on that link, they too will get the same instructions you got. And then when you go back to your StreamYard after you've invited them, they will appear in the bottom left-hand corner. And that's how you would click on to invite your guests. I do advise you, however, to use a laptop whenever possible when using StreamYard. Um, it's just easier to navigate. And again, if you're using an iPhone, make sure it's turned the correct way um, and make sure your camera is set so that you can read the comments on the second section. Again, these are your um, thumbnails in case you wanted to add a thumbnail before you came on instead of coming on right away. If you wanted to add a video, you can add in your video clips. Um, and you can do it with sound or you can do it um, with the sound included. Okay. And color. If you want to post a comment, you can post your comments, change the layout of your screen. If it's just yourself, if it's one or two people, if you're doing a presentation, that's all under the um, more section. That's where you would invite your guests once they accept your invitation. You'll see them at the bottom. You just click it on and you can add them to it. Okay. Again, just remember, copy the clipboard, email them, and um, you're good to go. And that is how you use StreamYard with the iPhone.